Question 4a. Rearrange each of these formulae to make H the subject. So we need to find H on its own on each of these formulas. So the first thing that's stopping H from being on its own here is this minus 5. So to get rid of it, we're going to add 5 to both sides. That now leaves us with P plus 5 on the left, and on the right hand side, just 3H. So the next thing that's stopping H from being on its own is this 3. And to get rid of that, we're going to divide both sides by 3. On the left hand side then we've got P plus 5, all divided by 3. And on the right hand side we're left with just the H that we are after. So H equals P plus 5, all divided by 3. Second part, we need to find H again here. I've got T equals 2 lots of H plus W. So, first thing we can get rid of here is the 2. Rather than expanding the brackets, it's easy just to get rid of it straight away. If we do that, on the left hand side we're left with T divided by 2 equals, and on the right hand side the T's disappeared to leave us with just H plus W. Now the only other thing that's stopping the H from being on its own is the W, so we'll do the opposite to get rid of that. And that now leaves us with T divided by 2, take away W on the left hand side, and on the right hand side that just equals H, which is what we were after. So H equals T divided by 2 minus W. Um, part B, solve this inequality and represent your solution on the number line. 6x is greater than or equal to 2x minus 8. Now, to do that we can just solve it just like any normal equation. We need to find x on one side and the number on the other. So we need to get rid of this 2x from both sides to start. Now that leaves us with 6x take away 2x, which is 4x, and the fancy symbol, and on the right hand side we've just got minus 8. Now to get rid of this 4, just like we did before, we need to divide by the number in front of x. So we'll divide by 4. That now leaves us with x the symbol, and then minus 2. Now, we need to actually think about the symbol here. The symbol says x is greater than or equal to minus 2. So we'll make our little circle above the minus 2, and all the points where x is greater than or equal to minus 2 are going to lie to the right. So we'll just draw a little arrow on to show the direction of those numbers. And because it's greater than or equal to, we have to just fill in that little circle.